been dead for three days. You should get back into the dating scene. I don't need dating tips from someone who thinks it's okay to cheat on McDreamy with McSteamy. <laughs> Cheating on McDreamy with McSteamy is okay because I was moving up the McEamy ladder. It starts with McQueenie, then McWeeny, followed by McDreamy, then McSteamy, and the brass ring is McSupremi, whom, rumor has it, is French and lives in a castle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there an operation going on here? Can I help, please? Please? I beg of you, I'm the best, right? Right? Are you guys talking about relationships? Please, please let me talk about mine. Please, I beg of you. Are you guys in the middle of an interesting storyline? Please let me be in it. My character's stuck with the fat bone doctor. What the heck are all my interns doing in here? Go in and stop talking about yourselves and start helping people. Oh my God, it's a patient. And I've been so focused on relationships, I've forgotten how to practice medicine. We're gonna have to call in a specialist. Who? I know, McMeany. Can anyone here write a Vicodin prescription for the most competent, well-adjusted, drug-addicted doctor in the world? Dr. House, we have a woman here, and we don't know what's wrong with her. There's nothing I can do for that woman. No, not me, the woman on the bed. She's pregnant. The baby comes out that hole. Goodbye. House! You can't just leave that woman. Listen, in... nurse. I'm the doctor. You're not a doctor, you're a whore. Oh, you listen to me, House. I am the only doctor in this hospital who has slept with both McDreamy and McSteamy, so I know my way around this place. And there is more going on with that woman than just being pregnant. You've been with both McDreamy and McSteamy? I'm just trying to picture you in between. Well, look, you better go in there and save her, you disgusting pig. And I have to say disgusting pig because Grey's Anatomy is a show written for women by women. I'm trying to tell you I don't know what's wrong with your patient, but I do know I've got an erection. And I have to say that because House is written by men for women who like abusive men. <laughs> Looks like someone just grazed your anatomy. All right. The patient has an excess of saliva. Any thoughts? Yes. I think I'll take it slow with McDreamy. You should, because you don't want to lose McDreamy. I did by sleeping with McSteamy. That was an interesting storyline. My character sleeps with women and then they cry. Maybe it's because you're a homo. Hey, don't call him a homo. I didn't call him a homo. Yes, you did. It's the third time you've called me a homo. Twice on set and then once at the Golden Globes. Not true. See you later. Homo. While you guys were talking, I took out the patient's lung. I'm the best, right? Well, you're the best at ruining a perfectly good erection. Wait a minute. Excess saliva. Removable lung. Pregnant. This woman has classic vignetta syndrome. The only way to save the baby is to smother the mother with a pillow. You can't do that! Just watch me, you mushroom-haired hobbit. <laughs> Lack of oxygen will build pressure in the mother's vagina, and the kid should shoot right out. You, baby voice, get your catcher's mitt ready. <laughs> One, two, three, smother! <laughs> Excellent. Now resuscitate the mother. We can't. She's dead. Hmm. Would have worked on my show. I know a show that can save her. <laughs>